In this video, we will study about zingobiloba. Zingobiloba is also called as living fossil because this is the only genus which is living of the zingoales. All other members of zingoales have become extinct. That's why it is also called as one of wonders of world. Now, if we classify zingobiloba, now according to Gifford and Foster in 1989, this belongs to division zingophyta. Class Zingosida, Order Zingoales, Family Zingoaceae, Genus Zingo, and Species Biloba. And according to Panth 1957, this can be classified under division Coniferophyta, Class Coniferocita, Order Zingoales, Family Zingoaceae, Genus Zingo, and Species Biloba. Now, if we see the origin of the Zingo, now this is the uh, geological time scale these are the eras cenozoic mesozoic paleozoic paleozoic and these are period quaternary tertiary cretaceous jurassic triassic permian carboniferous devonian and if we see the era of the zingo this has originated from the permian period of the paleozoic era flourished well in the mesozoic era and this has lived up to the cenozoic era now, if you see its morphology what is what are its external characters now main plant body of zingo is sporophyte and its pattern of growth is excurrent habit that is lower branches they spread more as compared to the upper branches. It is deciduous in nature um, leaves, are, leaves will fall off in the autumn season. Now we can see the tree of the zingo biloba. Now this is its stem and stem will grow straight. So this is the monopodial growth and these are the branches which are bearing the leaves. Now its root system is tap root system and it is deep also it helps in attachment of the stem to the soil. Now if you see its stem it bears two kinds of branching. Branching is monopodial mean it is not sympodial it grows only by single growing point and it is of two type so dimorphic long shoots and dwarf shoots. Long shoots they will have unlimited growth and dwarf shoots they have limited growth. Now we can see here this is the long shoot on which dwarf shoot is born and these are the leaves which are born on the dwarf shoot. Now if you see the structure of the leaves, leaves in case of zingo biloba again are of two type foliage leaves and scale leaves. Now its leaves they resemble pinna of maiden hair fern adiantum so that's why this is also called as maiden hair tree. Now, if we talk about its foliage leaves, they are petiolate, they have petiole and this is the lamina of the leaf, fan shaped lamina is there and if you see the venation pattern, uh, this is dicotmus like one vein will divide into two, this can also divide into two. So, this is open dicotmus venation. Second type of leaves are scale leaves, scale leaves are usually present on the buds and they help in protection of the bud so they are protective in function they are brown in color and we can see here these are the leaves of the zingo biloba this is leaf showing venation also and this is the leaf of the autumn season which will fall down and turn yellow in color so this is about morphology of zingo biloba thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe